Yusei Kikuchi just shocked everybody. And in today's spring training game, Yusei Kikuchi went out there, looked incredible, absolutely dominated, introducing a new changeup that he has been working on and looks like it could be a huge pitch in his arsenal going forward. So we'll break that down in this episode of Jay's Digest, as well as new reports and kind of rumors are circulating regarding Tommy Pham. And a lot of fans and reporters believe he could be the perfect fit for the Toronto Blue Jays. So we'll break that down and much more in this episode of Jay's Digest. What's up, Jays fans? Nick Goss here, host of Jays Digest, and we have a lot to get into today. Obviously, the Jays just wrapped up their spring training game. I'm recording this as the game ended. It was a very good one, a very fun one. We saw the Jays kind of put out eh, their A lineup to a degree, at least the best lineup we've seen so far throughout spring. And Yusei Kikuchi and the pitching staff in general looked incredible. But before we do get into that, a quick reminder to hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 12,000. And if you're excited for Blue Jays baseball, hit that subscribe button button down below if you aren't already because about 72 percent of you who are watching right now aren't subscribed now let's get right into the first topic of today and again what a great day if you're a jays fan and this was wild we saw yusei kikuchi go out there albeit against a, a fairly mediocre uh, pittsburgh pirates team and spring training rush they put out and he looked incredible his velocity looked good his pitches looked good and his changeup looked un believable obviously a bit of a newer pitch at least new in the sense of him kind of debuting it and actually going to be using it in games a lot more this season he looked very very good there today and let's just look at his stat line two innings one hit three k's a zero ERA. i mean if you look at the pitchers all the way down through everyone had a very very solid day jimmy garcia gave up a home run which is a bit unfortunate so did henesis cabrera but when you're looking at the main guys kikuchi looked dominant he kind of shocked me he shocked everyone we had chris bassett looking unbelievable as well romano tim mays looked okay like it is no secret that the Toronto Blue Jays pitching staff this season is going to be absolutely incredible. And they could have, and Buck Martinez was speaking about it in the broadcast today, the best bullpen in baseball. And that's why the ceiling for this team is so high. And when you have Yusei Kikuchi, who put up a 3.86 ERA last season, going out there and having a bit of a new pitch that he's going to add to his arsenal, which is his changeup, it could be very scary for other teams going forward. Now, again unbelievable game and he kind of spoke out about his confidence following his spring debut and he said that last year he was trying to make a good impression and not wanting to give up a run and now he says i think i have a higher ceiling and things to work on still i can be even better this year and he went out there and when you think back to last spring training again in 2022 his season was very interesting because he did not pitch very well whatsoever and he was really battling for that fifth starter spot and he pitched 20 innings in spring training and then did very very good went out there and dominated and ultimately got that fifth starter spot and in the end ended up running away with that starter spot when you're coming into this spring training he has his spot locked in at the very least to start the season after his great season last year and he's coming out there and absolutely dominating and a big Part of that is just a few things. Obviously, his confidence, but his new changeup looks absolutely incredible. Now, obviously, Yusei Kikuchi has thrown a changeup in the past. It's not necessarily that he has a brand new pitch. Of course, again, he's pitched the changeup before. But what we're seeing from Yusei Kikuchi now is his changeup previously was more of a splitter grip. And now he has it with a much different, very unique circle grip that he has been using. And his new changeup looks very, very good. And if you were listening to the broadcast, you had Buck Martinez go out there and point out that is one of the that it is one of the most unique looking strangest looking uh change ups ever again more of a, a circle change up compared to a splitter and it looked absolutely incredible and again it's all about Yusei Kikuchi's confidence in his location when he's not playing well and he's not performing his uh his confidence is down his location is horrible and we've seen that in 2022 he came out last year he made his adjustments and he has been unbelievable and I just can't say how good Yusei Kikuchi has been uh, last season and today I can it's one spring training game I'm not overreacting too much but what I'm taking out of this is this new changeup and this new grip if he can learn and have even his changeup was okay last year but if he can have an elite changeup going forward another thing to throw out those lefty batters throw out those righty batters especially down and in changeup out and away changeups against lefties everything he could be unbelievable for this team going forward now let's look at you can kind of see it here um his fastball and change up overlay and if you actually go and look at this video i don't have the clip for you but go check out rob friedman on twitter or on x you can see that he has a 95 mile per hour fastball and then he has his 85 mile per hour change up very similar if not the same arm slot they both go in the same plane and then the change up just dies and it looked much more effective than his previous change up which was more of a splitter last season which he didn't use too much compared to what we suspect he will be using his new change up this 
season, which again is very exciting if you're a Toronto Blue Jays fan. It kind of shocked me because I wasn't too familiar that he had a new grip coming in, but they made it very clear uh, on today's broadcast, and that is super exciting if you're a Jays fan. And again, touching on some of the other pitchers, Bassett looked incredible. He's gonna he's poised to go out there and have a phenomenal season once again. And then you have Jordan Romano who looks great, uh, long hair. Jordan Romano, everything was great. Chad Green, it was also great to see him out there. He looked very good at a very clean inning. And finally, and they were mentioning in the broadcast that Chad Green is now fully healthy and fully ready to go with no limit uh, inning limit restrictions, which is the first time since 2022 or 2021 for him, I believe. So that's very good. The hitters went out there as well and did their thing. Bo's an absolute monster. Vladdy got a hit as well on his first at bat, and Justin Turner hit a monster double. And shout out to Servin, the catcher we acquired this offseason. He had five RBIs. He could be a very good replacement for Tyler Heineman and uh, for Tyler Heineman, who's gone now. And Tyler Hunt obviously previously was the backup catcher for the Jays and depth catcher in the minor league system. But a lot of positives to take out. They won 8-4. to four. Just a phenomenal spring training game today. We saw some great things. The biggest... You know, story highlights, he stole the show, was Yusei Kikuchi in his two innings, and it's going to be exciting to see how he uses that changeup going forward. And then otherwise, uh, the hitters did some good things out there, and we saw some good things overall, but nothing too crazy uh, for the hitters today. But it was great to see Vladdy back in there and ready to poise to have a great season. But let us know what your thoughts are on that. And again, Yusei Kikuchi is, uh, is ready to go, and he could be a big part of this team going forward, maybe even better season than last year. Now, Let's move on to another topic we have today, which is a potential Tommy Pham to Jays. Now, there's some rumor and speculation about how he could be a perfect fit for the Jays as a new report dropped saying that outfielder Tommy Pham, who just four months ago helped lead the Diamondbacks to the National League pennant, continues working out every day in Las Vegas, waiting for someone, listen to this part carefully, waiting for someone, anyone, to just make a contract offer. And this had a lot of Jays fans up in arms saying Tommy Pham could be a perfect fit for this Toronto Blue Jays team. He can play the outfield. He would be the perfect fourth outfield. He mashes lefties. And, I mean, you look at Twitter here, there's a couple tweets I saw. I wouldn't mind if the Jays did this. I really think we should be in on this. No one's made him a contract offer, or at least, I mean, the wording of the article is that no one's made him a contract offer, but it seems like no one's made him an, art, uh, an offer of substantial amounts of money. And if you're the Jays, I would absolutely throw in an offer for Tommy Pham. Again, we were linked to Tommy Pham back at the trade deadline, and we thought that maybe the Blue Jays could go out and get him, and he would help them, maybe put them over the top, because they definitely needed a fourth outfielder with some pop and some power. And the Diamondbacks went out and they obviously uh, they did their thing in the playoffs and making the World Series so it's very interesting you look at obviously his season with the Diamondbacks wasn't phenomenal he had a 95 OPS but he's a guy who just last season put up a 774 OPS with the Mets had a 4 or an 820 OPS like he's a very solid player and it would be a low risk move especially given the fact that there hasn't really been a contract given to him so far or at least a contract offer given to him so far this season so I think Tommy Pham could be a very interesting guy and the re again the reason I bring this up is because this report came out i figured and we know the market has absolutely died for these players scott boris thought that the toronto or that many teams were going to give cody bellinger we were talking 200 million 250 million approaching 3 million or 300 million for cody bellinger and he ended up getting an, a pillow contract worth 80 million dollars over three years matt chapman is still unsigned blake snell is still unsigned jordan montgomery is still unsigned so a lot of these guys are getting very small contracts and if you're the Blue Jays and you can get Tommy Pham on a one-year deal, I don't know, seven, eight million, might even be less than that, probably less than that. I don't see a reason why you wouldn't, especially given how he has performed in his career. And obviously, there is some locker room concerns, uh, some things that we discussed last trade deadline, but. If, assuming those things don't matter, we haven't heard much about that in a while, Tommy Pham would be a very good player for this roster as a fourth outfielder and a right-handed hitter who can hit for some pop. Again, he's not a power hitter, but he has some pop in his swing. And uh, he has some pep in his step for a guy who really isn't going to make a huge amount of money. It could be a perfect addition for this team going forward, and that's what we are kind of hoping that the Blue Jays do. And again, he would be a right-handed hitter, so he can kind of work in platoon on days where, let's say against a lefty where you don't want Dalton Varsho and Kevin Kiermeyer in. We know George Springer is getting older now, 35 years old, uh, approaching um, in the down parts of his career. But days where he needs a day off, you have Tommy Pham going out there and playing wherever, at right at right field, left field. Can't really play center field. So it's going to be interesting to see. But uh, let me know what your thoughts are on Tommy Pham, uh, Tommy Pham down below. But that will wrap up the video. A lot to discuss today. The Jays are back playing baseball. It is a wonderful thing to see. And again, let us know in the comments what you want to see if you enjoyed this video. And do you want Tommy Pham on the Blue Jays? Check out our video from yesterday on your screen now if you haven't already. And we'll see you tomorrow.